On a bright and clear late spring morning, I departed Ventura Harbor, located on the Southern California coast, on board the dive boat Spectre. Our dive destinations for the day included sites off two islands in Channel Islands National Park, Santa Cruz Island and Anacapa Island. As we approached the northeast coast of Santa Cruz Island, the brightness of the day and blueness of the sky suggested that spectacular diving was in store for us. But we were mistaken. At a depth of 15 meters, visibility through the water column was 3 meters at best, and there was no evidence of the bright sunshine that sparkled just above. As a diver, and especially as a diver with a camera, the gloomy ambience and clouded water were, at the time, a great disappointment. The dive boat captain had said something about having encountered plankton blooms in recent days, which I interpreted as something that would negatively affect visibility in the water. But to be frank, I was not entirely certain then what plankton was. So, after returning from this particular dive trip, I did some research looking in the usual places, and also being amazed and pleasantly surprised by websites dedicated exclusively to plankton education and appreciation. Who would have thought? What I learned is this. Plankton are a multitude of living organisms adrift in the currents. As I learned more about plankton, I began to think of my diving experience that day in a completely new light. Every creature I saw that day depended in some way on plankton. Starting at the top of the food chain with the spouting whale we saw while crossing a channel, down to the bottom scavengers like this enormous spider crab and this unusually bold spiny lobster. Based on what I saw that day and what I learned afterward, plankton, for me, went from unappreciated to wondrous. Here's some more interesting information about plankton. It comprises one of the largest aggregations of biomass on our planet, and it can be seen from space. If it weren't for plankton's efficient transport of carbon, the dramatic increase in atmospheric carbon that has been observed in the last 50 years would have been even more severe. Plankton also function as mitigators against surface water acidification in the world's oceans and the degradation of coral reefs. So. The next time you see a beautiful coral fan or reef, think about plankton and the many wondrous roles it plays on our planet.